Hey guys, here with another Civ 5 mod review. Today we're looking at the Red Planet mod. Uh, I found this as I was searching through mods a couple weeks back. It was kind of shoved in my face as one of the more popular mods of the week, so I decided to try it. I do like it. It is usable on all three expansions, but I don't think it works in the hot seat multiplayer that you can make work on modded games. Don't know, haven't tried it. It just says no next to multiplayer when you look at the mod information. But anyway, getting right to it, obviously Mars is the map type. There is a scenario that you can use. Essentially, the scenario lets you pick from one of these five races. And I believe it starts in the futuristic era, or not maybe the futuristic, but the atomic, or one of the more farther along eras with mechanized infantry and whatnot. Obviously, you can still change the map size, but I don't want to play as them. I'd play as the Chinese. Oh, oh, okay. So yeah, I turned off, maybe I didn't turn off the scenario, but apparently it's letting me pick from more than I thought. But either way, you can't pick as all the races. If you turn off the load scenario, you can't play any race, and you can essentially play a full game of Civilization. You just, <clears throat> you know, it's on Mars. And I haven't tried a full game. The map, you know, it, it's not easily expandable on, so I don't know as I'd recommend. I mean, I, I've tried the uh, full game. I actually com combined this map mod with the Heroes of All-Stars mod that I showed in one of my previous videos with all the, the Blizzard units. So, I do like mixing and matching mods, for, but for sake of time, I think I'm just going to go with the scenario. I'm going to go on Prince because that's pretty average. I don't want to have an epic game. And I think we're going to go with this and see how it goes. I'm going to probably only play 50 turns just to go over the general terrain differences and the differences in how you should be playing this game, mode, map, whatever you want to refer to it as. As I said, I haven't tried a full-blown, you know, match on it. You know, they only have up to large size. I don't like playing my games on large. I like playing them on huge because, I don't know, I like having a lot of sips to punch around, I guess. But I do always play as the Chinese, I will say that. Since they've removed the Infinite City Sprawl for the Mayans, which greatly depressed me, I have been playing as the Chinese because I like their paper makers and their chukanus. Their, I've been learning to use their Art of War, but it's not my favorite. So anyway, let's get right to it. So, <clears throat> we just recruited three spies. Just to make sure I have things correct, we are starting this game in the industrial era <clears throat> or right before it so that's where the scenario or modern sorry wait no before modern yes yeah I'm right industrial era at the very end of the industrial era we're in the modern era which seems a little off because I feel like we figured out refrigerators and radio and all this stuff far before we ever colonized Mars but who cares about logic so <clears throat> as you can see this does not look anything like the Earth maps. <clears throat> With the scenario being the way it is, I think you do start... Every Civ starts in the same spot every game. <clears throat> you know, I'm pretty sure the last time I played this scenario, I started in this spot as well. But, <clears throat> as you can see, Mars is a very... barren map. Wasteland, 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 wasteland. The hills do give you production. But mainly... Your food sources are going to come from these green lichen, which gives six food, which is quite ridiculous, and ice. Your ice gives two food in this game rather than being useless like it is on Earth because it is water, and it does allow for the growth of food. <clears throat> Most of the resources you will find on this map are production-based, very miney type stuff like silver and gems. <clears throat> there, yeah, You cannot build farms. You can build outposts, which do give you food. I don't actually know if you can build anything on Lichen. But <clears throat> we're going to start this game. We do have our mechanized scout here. So I'm just going to build a monument. Put one of my scouts in my main base. No. Move to Beijing. 
<clears throat> and we'll see where goes what. And everyone just uh, picked some ideologies. World Congress found, even though I haven't met a single person. Mechanized infantry gets some ancient ruins. When do you see ancient ruins in the industrial era? The answer is never. As you see, there are a lot of hills on this map and a lot of wasteland. So you can't build anything on Lichen. You can't build mines on the ice, but for now I'm just going to litter this area with outposts. <coughs> um, <coughs> who do I... Do I want to go freedom, order, or autocracy? I do like killing people. But I do like expanding like a maniac, which is really hard, actually, in this game mode. But I'm going to do it anyway, because I always go with order. Um, for some reason, I get to hold the first Congress. Hula. So what do I want to propose? <clears throat> I think I'm going to start it off nicely and do the world fair because then people will like me and I like people to like me so that I can stab them from the back instead of the front alright we're gonna go with holy 274 turns um refrigeration could have sworn I turned down the speed on this no I did not it pulled a fast one on me <clears throat> sure let's accept an embassy they're all going to say they're happy with my proposal. He's happy that I picked order. I should really turn their speech back on, but I turned it off before this video because I was pretty sure that I wasn't supposed to have them give the speech about my race in the beginning. <coughs> Ow, cough. My bad. <clears throat> but anyway, you might be glad to notice I don't actually know how the quality sounds right now. I'll have to check after. I got a new mic, so you can't hear me clicking and typing as loudly. It's kind of funny to watch them talk and not hear them. I find that hilarious. Yes, yes, you're all happy with me. Germany's way up in East Wing Dang. And <clears throat> Washington, kind of on the crap end of the deal here. They don't have as much food-like resources. If you do play this map on like a general mode be warned that you want to either find the south or north poles because that's where all this nice green crap is <clears throat> except these wetlands they do have some kind of oddball resources spread about wow they're already going hard on each other some more ancient ruins he's happy that I picked order I could never play a real game in Epic. This would just irritate the crap out of me. And I think part of it's because I don't have a lot of science right now. Due to the fact that <clears throat> I have one city. <clears throat> those are the other... Those, these are the other... If you're stuck in the middle of the map, these subsurface ice things will give you a lot of food. I kind of want to build a scout. No, I'm not going to war yet. My god. They're already going ham on each other. It's Redonka Donk. I'm not giving you open borders, though. <clears throat> Alright, I built my monument. You can't build scouts, unfortunately. I don't know if there's any ancient ruins on Mars. That would be kind of weird. Ugh. I mean, proof of aliens for reals, but I'm going to build a settler. <clears throat> I don't know why this is taking so long to, uh, grow. For some reason it likes that oil up there. Probably for that production. <coughs> Did grow pretty fast, though. I guess it's already six. Ancient ruins. Get some culture. Find some gold. <coughs> So normally in most games I'd recommend building your cities four to six tiles away, but I have a habit of not doing that in this game mode. I, like, spread them out ridiculously. Oh, man. Um. 
Science Victory OP. I think I'm just gonna go... I did pick Freedom, but maybe I'll just go ham on the attacking people. Don't know. Yeah, let me get, let me get, uh, Commerce. No, wait, that's not like the old Commerce. Never mind. Ignore that. Maybe Exploration. That was what I was thinking of. I'm gonna go Rationalism, because I always like being ahead in technology. <clears throat> this looks like a nice spot to settle a city. It's already got my name on it. I can feel it. My first city's gonna go there like 30 tiles away from my starting city. Can I build thingy? I don't know if I have. I think I do have the thing to get the oil. Ancient ruins for days up in here. Alright, one outpost is done, so we're going to build another one. I feel like I'm outside of Gold City. Making trading posts. There's Oda Nobunaga. There are the Russians. There are the French. There are the Arabians. There are the Indians. That was a productive turn. So my next door neighbor is really only America. Maybe I'll go ham on them, which sounds really bad, but that's okay. <clears throat> 70 gold. There are ancient antiquity sites on Mars. Oh man, Alien vs. Predator took place on this planet. Because we all know that antiquity sites in the real game usually take place around... They usually spawn near battle sites, or that's something I've heard at one point. Was that if there was a huge battle somewhere, you'll probably find an antiquity site there at some point. So there must have been an alien battle that took place here. Maybe we'll meet an ancient alien civilization and they'll completely wreck us. Fortunately, I don't think it's that creative, but there's another one! Alright, adopt policy. Just gonna work my way down this science tree. Because at the end you get two free techs, and considering how long it takes to get two technologies in this game, I'm okay with that. Man, I wish I got this many ancient runes in my regular games playing as the Shoshone, maybe, I would be five technologies ahead and have a lot of gold. There are city-states here, too! The Asia United Outpost. <clears throat> it almost, kind of, I'm gonna get close. That kind of looks like a Mars base, may or may not look like, or maybe that's just a futuristic city. Nah, it's just a futuristic city. <clears throat> Let us play. I don't think I want to be friends with anyone because they're all going ham on each other. Denounce, denounce, denounce. Look at that. Feel the human hatred. I don't want to get in the middle of any of this. With any luck, I can let them kill each other and not have to worry about it. But we all know that's not how Civ works. Another one! I don't want to declare friendship with anybody, because everyone's going to go ham on everyone else. I don't know who I want to side with. That's not the button to check. Two, four, yeah. They're all pretty close to one and other. <clears throat> but what I may do... Is that... <laughs> now I have a real ally. I don't want to do open borders. You guys don't even know where I am. Well, that's a lie. If I know where you are, you know where I am. But you're way... Where is Gandhi? That's Arabia. You're way up in that corner. Why would you want open borders with me? More outposts for days. I'm actually going to bring this guy back in to escort my settler 
to the r location. It wants me to expand there. That's really close, even though well, not really, it's four tiles away, but I'm pretty set on that spot I was on before. I'm going to build a caravan. <clears throat> because I want to trade with this new ally of mine. I don't even think I need to escort this. I'm pretty sure there's not barbarians on this map now that I think about it. I mean, that'd be kind of weird. Astronaut barbarians for the Winsies. Let's hurry our way up to this nice spot right here. And I actually might send one of my workers up after him. Not sure what's so good about this spot other than it does have more lichen to be utilized. Yeah, I've determined the optimal city spacing is four to six tiles. Because every city can work tiles three away. And most cities don't ever get big enough to, uh... To what's the word I'm looking for? You know. You work all of those tiles, because if you have a city that even is two tiles out, that means it's working 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, some, like around 20 tiles. So that means its population has to be around 20, and even though this one's already at 8, that's just because of this game mode. Most cities you get will not work beyond the two tile mark, so going four is fine. Unless the interlap happens to be really expensive resources, then you may want to reconsider. I'm just kind of rambling here, but that's okay. Assign delegates. No, we don't want to embargo China. You strange, strange man. Japan just made my mean list. Why would I construct a fort on my lichen? There's nobody's going to come from that direction. I promise. <clears throat> Japan doesn't like me. Oh, America and Russia are getting on my bad side. I guess I do have to make some uh, friendship declarations here. I guess I probably can now because I already said no, I don't want any of that ham. Well, the World Fair has started. <clears throat> France would not like me if I did that, and India, and they're two of the ones that like me, so I'm going to be nice to them. Let's do a standing army tax. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to send this worker up to follow my settler. Because until I get that subsurface ice going, I'm never going to grow. Of course it played a part in the failure of your proposal. You were trying to embargo me, you colorful word. Yeah, as usual, once I get to turn 50, I'm going to end this. But I do have my caravan, which is going to go here and make me some bank. And then, <clears throat> and then I don't know. Could put out that national college. Even though I think I'm about to settle another city, so I'll wait. And get a mint, because I have silver, and mint is a great food. <clears throat> oh, I couldn't avoid it forever, could I? Just continue with my rationalisticness. Oh man, the decisions. I'm definitely going to go where I am, though, because I like all this stuff in the area. Ooh, you get extra borders. I didn't know that. <clears throat> I knew your city started with it, but I didn't know it was like that every time. Alright, well, obviously you're not going to grow, because you don't have any food. But, with any luck, I'll get some subsurface ice mining up here in a sec. If my worker hurries up. Look at these workers, though. I don't see an astronaut helmet on one of them, breathing Martian air like it's nothing. 
I can do that though. Ancient Chinese trick. Of course, Shanghai starving. <clears throat> My workers are special Chinese monks. They use chi. Ooh, new unit. Artillery, my favorite. <clears throat> Nothing better than a unit that can shoot three tiles away. People I like to smile the most. Oh, I'm not a happy person. I didn't need this game to tell me that, though. Ruins discovered. Oh, I don't want maps. Ew. Maps are for squares. Like pants. Alright, let's get this ice. I'm just gonna set you up here. Not that you can see beyond any of the hills. I don't really know what I'm exploring now. I'm just gonna keep collecting these. Oh, helps hit the next turn button. Ha! I always do that. I'm such a re... Ha! Ha! Ruins. Alright, let's get this subsurface ice. Then my city won't, you know, die. Losing grasp on an... Uh, grasp. Losing grasp. Losing grasp on an Asian United Outpost. Bro, that's not nice. We're supposed to work together forever. Bribing friendships for days. Isn't that the truth? <clears throat> I got ruins. Are there any other ruins? Look at all this hellness, though, for real. Production city for days. I will not give you my open borders. Maybe friendship. I got a mint. Alright, now I'm going to build a national college because my other city's already there. See, I try to make a habit of colonizing near the subsurface ice, which I'm surprised guy up here hasn't taken yet, because I don't think he has a source of food otherwise. Unless new meta, oil is food. I feel like I need to make a game on this map with alien races that they have on the mod section. Keep making outposts. Keep taking ruins. Notice how I haven't gotten a single technology one. Four more turns and my escapades will be done. For now. Mwahaha.
great engineer. <clears throat> Let's make the ultimate tile with six food and like 12 production. All right. Oh yeah, there's a lot of craters on here that give science too. That's the other thing. I'm glad I saw that. All over this place you'll see craters which give you science. I'm going to play one more turn. Break my code and go to 51 turns and make a mega tile. So this nope, nope, stop, stop. Mega tile. Oh. It lost a lot of its food. Sad face. Planitia. I guess that's between Lichen and Wasteland. Oh well. Alright, and... Subsurface Ice is done. Nine food. That is Opizzle. I'll have you go get that gold. And I think I'm just gonna have you stand by. Alright, well that's my 50 turns with this mod. I... Reviews, I like it. It's kind of a different way to play the game. I also recommend trying it from Ancient Era onward and seeing how that works. There is no ocean, obviously, so it's pretty much like some of the map types, except there's not a lot of food, but... Please like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um... If you have any recommendations for other mods I could do, you feel free to leave them. And I will keep this game saved for about a month or so, so if you want to see me continue it in a Let's Play style format, then I am down for that. So I will save it for a month, leave a comment if you want to see it in action, and I will see you next time.